I'm so goddamn tired. Burn these motherfuckers. Stage five pampers. I got bricks, nigga. Bricks, it ain't coke. It ain't crack. It's motherfucking bricks of goddamn pampers. I'm tired of it. I got two, two children. One of them's at stage five, the other one's stage two. I'm tired of spending my goddamn hard-earned money. It's pissing me off. I gotta be motherfucking. Oh man, I got a budget. It's a must. I'm tired of these motherfucking car seats right here. These heavy ass fucking goddamn car seats that fuck up my back seat. They want to motherfucking eat cookies and shit. These cookies are all up in this motherfucker. Drinks spilled every fucking way. I'm motherfucking pulling up at the motherfucking stoplight. <laughs> Hello, pretty lady. She gonna look back and look at the car and say, oh, <laughs> that nigga got a bunch of kids. <laughs> God damn it, yo. I love my children to death. I love them more than I love my own mother. I love them more than I love any woman on this fucking planet. But God damn it, I got too many, too many. Just when I think everything goes right, this boy gonna pop up and say I'm pregnant. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I said, right? You know what I said? I said some dumb shit, I'll admit it. I pulled out. We're using the pull-out method? Well, I'm gonna tell you, motherfucker, that shit don't work. Take it from me. I'm doing videos at one o'clock in the morning. I gotta turn on the central fan just in case one of these little niggas wake up, start making a bunch of noises, because I got a little son. He wants to get up in the middle of the night and start fucking up shit. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. God damn it. See this shit? Shit, these, these shits is all in the motherfucking carpet. So I, I wake up in the middle of the night, going to get some fucking juice or some shit, and I step on one of these motherfuckers, almost break my goddamn neck. I love my children to death. But goddamn, they're testing the nigga. Testing me. I will never harm my children, but sometimes I feel like just picking them up and just throwing them. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you, for those that don't have children, make sure that you're ready to have them. Because it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of love. It takes a lot of money in order to raise a child. Let me start off by saying this first. Make sure, just in case you may get a girl pregnant or that man may get you pregnant that you're having sex with, make sure that that person has some worth because if you get pregnant or you get that person pregnant and that person is a nobody, guess what? He or she is gonna be a nobody to your child. Make sure that person has a certain amount of money saved in the bank. Make sure that person has a career. Make sure that person has personal goals in life that they wanna achieve. Other than that, if you're fucking a no good nigga and a no good bitch, they're gonna turn out to be no good parents. And that's the truth. This is the reason why we have a lot of deadbeat dads out there that don't wanna take care of their motherfucking children. But it's not just his fault. It's your fault out there, ladies, for knowing 
Because you do know. You all, you all women are the smartest motherfuckers on the planet. And I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being real. You already know that that nigga was going to be a piece of shit, but you still fucked him. So, it is just as far, it's, it's, it's just as much as your fault as it is his. Prevent this from happening. Learn from other people's mistakes. Don't be that woman that gets pregnant and has to take care of that child by herself. And on the weekends, the only time that she gets a break is when she drops her, her child off to grandma's house. And she's so fucking filled up with, she's so hyped to, 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 to get that stress out of Monday through Friday break, breaking her neck. To the point where you see her in the club, she's shaking her ass and doing all types of every fucking thing. You shouldn't have a child if you're not mentally prepared. That means you're not responsible enough to have one. You don't have, you lack the patience. You're selfish. You don't know how to love and don't, know, don't know, know how to care. You shouldn't have a child if you're not physically prepared. That means if you can't run in a park with your child. If you can't shoot some J's with your child. If you can't throw the football with your child. If you can't get in that swimming pool and swim with your child. You shouldn't have a child if you're not prepared financially. That means if you can't afford to feed that child, clothe that child, Provide shelter for that child. I never knew how important having sex was until I had my children. Sex is a beautiful thing, but it's mainly used for reproduction. And this society that we're dealing with when we go through recessions, inflation, job losses, all types of shit, it gets harder and harder and harder each year to raise a child. I mean, hell, you, you have fucking little white boys going in school saying, I hate everybody, <laughs> shooting up fucking schools. That your children are in. Rolled. It's hard. My mother told me she raised me the best way she could. And to a certain extent, uh, I kind of half believe it. Because providing food, shelter, and clothing for a child, that's a necessity. But you got, you have to take that child on trips. You have to expose that child to different cultures, take them different places in order that that child can be enriched with knowledge. You have to mold that child into something that is 10 times better than you. And I'm growing and learning every fucking day. I'm learning every fucking day how can I improve myself as a father or what they call me as Baba. I mean, our children are homeschooled. Our children are vegetarians. We have them enrolled in the YMCA. We try to do the best we can. We, we've been, we go on trips, we go to beaches and out of state and shit like that. But at the end of the day, I can tell you that I'm not perfect. That it's times that I don't fucking want to be bothered. And the fucked up thing about it is, 
you can't just take your child, like this thing right here, you can't just take your child and put it in the closet. That's called neglect. No matter if you're sick, no matter if you're sad, no matter what type of a fucking emotions that you're going through, you have to tend to your child regardless. And I'm here to tell you, it is very difficult. They are very demanding. You go take a shit in the bathroom, these little niggas is following you. You go open the refrigerator door, you sneaking, cause you want that little apple pie that you, you saved. Cause they eat up every fucking thing. You save that one little piece of apple pie and you opening up the refrigerator door, you taking your time and then next thing you know, you. You look over here and you're like, God damn. Here, man. You have to give them your all. Shit. You know how many times I want to go to Magic City? Throw them dollars. Make it rain. I like pretty little ladies. But oh no, you got to give that shit the fuck up. Because you got bills. All that money that you throwing at those strippers, that can go towards your children. All that time you spending in the strip club, at bars, in the clubs, regular clubs, that time can be dedicated towards your children. And it's the truth. I had to cut all that shit out. I had to cut the fuckery out of my life. <laughs> you sitting with your, you know, you, I mean, I know some of y'all niggas still do it. I, I can't do it anymore. You sitting in the living room, you got your motherfucking little liquor here, you got your little blunt right here, you got your PS4 and shit, you playing a motherfucking game from fucking 12 o'clock in the afternoon to motherfucking 9. I can't do that, 9 at night. I can't do that no more, anymore. I can't. I got little girls. I can't, I can't walk around with no, just my underwear on. I can't, I can't have fucking liquor and blunts. That's, that's. Your children's role model, their first role models, are their parents. Whatever you do is what they're going to do. So I can't do that shit anymore. I just can't. I can't do nothing. I gotta be a fucking saint. At least around them. <sighs> you got to dedicate your time towards them and shit. So I got to make appointments and shit. If I want to go get a haircut, I got to say, well, get, I got this, I got, can I get nine, to, nine in the morning to 11? On Monday? Oh, I can. Oh, thank you. There is a God. I hope that I have been beneficial towards you all. I hope that you all make the right decisions in life when looking for a partner to have sex with and from that point on to eventually having a baby and a family. I'm here to help as much as I can. Learn from my mistakes so that you don't make them. It is very difficult in this day and time to have children. And I'm doing what I need to do. I'm not doing the best that I can because doing the best is taking them to Egypt to see the pyramids. But we gonna get there. This is Langston, 2092, one.